Welcome to the Tuesday show. This time round, I'm at the Datai. I'm on holiday for a week and I'm going to walk around in the jungle and find some inspiration and show you how to make a pattern from A to Z. The clue behind this pattern is how to make it look tropical without it being too cliche. For example, taking a fish and putting a fish on a buttock, that's not where we want to go. So the point is, is finding the inspiration, giving it a twist and making something very original. This place, as I've said many times, is incredible, but I have a certain passion for trees, um, probably because I went on long walks in uh, the summer when we went back for our summer holidays to Holland and France, and um, there's something about trees. They're so powerful, they're so beautiful. When you live in the tropics or in Malaysia, it's all about color. But then when you see something white in the jungle, it just stands out and it's just absolutely stunning. This looks like a lace frilly skirt. It's incredibly fragile, but inspiring. See, look at this. It's jungle, but it's not jungle. I found this flower this morning. It doesn't really look like a flower, but it's absolutely stunning. So we're lucky that it's blooming because every time I'm here, it's a different tree that's blooming but there's no smell. Okay, it's our lucky day. This is their signature flower, uh, or one of their signature flowers. I think it's called the tiger orchid. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit closer because it's just so stunning. And the trick is, is to make a pattern with this without you seeing that it's an orchid because orchid can be very kitschy on a batik or on a print, so we're gonna make a print with this that doesn't look like an orchid and the colors are just phenomenal. Look at this, this is a banana flower. It curls up when it drops off, so I think this could also be a very interesting, interesting pattern. I've already done a pisang print, but I don't know, maybe I can do another one. So I'm gonna take this with me as well. I just found this in the tree. Look at that, too delicate for words and it's got a touch of brown. So I'm gonna add this to the collection. There we go. That's all you need to make an entire collection, actually. I'm gonna start drawing now. there. This is the combination of this one and this little seed. When you have the flower you also have to dissemble it. You know that's how you understand the basic form and shape. This almost looks like a cuttlefish. It's amazing. So as you can see at the same day I made two great patterns. This would be amazing as a sarong or a men's shirt and this one would be beautiful as a top Actually, this would be beautiful for everything bathing suit I wouldn't mind this as men's swimmers as well and as you can see I just basically mixed this is the misai kuching so it's a small detail this is the color of the banana flower look at that so that's this color there's a bit of sand on it but it's really pretty oh look at that just perfect color match and then this is that beautiful scented white flower of which I still don't know what it's called but I'll find out later I spent five days here and of course everyone's like how can you work you know you shouldn't be spending your time on holiday working but honestly if you have that privilege of making something beautiful it's always a holiday so I hope you enjoyed it that's the end of our Tuesday show I'm gonna enjoy the sunset with my best friends over there cheers and I'll see you next week Whoop. Drink.